Hey guys, this is Invisible Joe over here, and welcome back to another Identity V video. As you guys can see, today I'm on a China server, and it's because the new game mode, which is the Blackjack, has just been released at the China server at last Thursday. So I've recorded this quite recently, and I'm going to show you guys how this game mode works. Like, obviously, I'm still trying to, like, get the hang of this game mode and understand the strategies. And I didn't necessarily play the best, but yeah, this replay that I'm going to show you would give you guys a, a pretty good run through of what the blackjack mode is about. So, the blackjack mode, as its name suggests, is pretty much you have to play blackjack, and the one that's closest to 21 wins, and you would and you would want to get your cards as close to 21 as possible without busting. And when the round like every round you will get a card from the dealer just like how a normal blackjack works and when the round ends if your card's numbers exceeds 21 then you'll be eliminated from the entire game so that is why like if after a round like after the dealer gives you a card and your card numbers exceeded 21 then you'll have to figure out a way to like uh, give the cards away or exchange cards in order to to be certain that your number of card that your cards number will be smaller than 21 w when this round ends otherwise you'll be gone for good so as you guys pro can see just now i have chose to go into a game as a survivor and as a hunter and this is how this works because at the beginning everyone will be there, there are five players and every player will be a survivor and the survivor will be from your choice and okay got four over here and then one chosen one randomly chosen player will become a hunter and this is random with no particular order one random chosen player will become the hunter and when the hunter like downs a survivor and quick note all survivors would go down in this game mode in one hit when the hunter downs a survivor, then the hunter can choose whether to pick up the survivor or, or not. When the hunter picks up the survivor, then the survivor will have to to choose a card from the hunter, and and that card will be get ad, will be added to the survivor player. And like in my experience of playing in these three matches, it's easy to get busted. So in the beginning, it'll be more beneficial to have. Like, your numbers are small as possible. So yeah, you can see that just now, uh, the player down, like, had, had down the forward and gave the forward the, his or her card. So the round immediately ends, one round immediately ends the moment a player, like, a player gets down and picked up by the hunter, or when the time ends. And you can also see that just now, I've decoded, and when I was decoding the cipher, I ended up getting some token chips which is on the left right below the number six and by decoding the ciphers I would receive token chips and these token chips would be useful because I can buy tools with them and yeah the tools and yeah, I use the tools terribly in this game but you can see see it that there are quite some tools that you can buy like the card exchanger where you can randomly exchange cards with another player a card discarder where you can randomly discard a card from your hand. A card looker where you can like look at another player's card and like stuff like that. So right now I'm just going to focus on get as many token chips as I possibly can so that I can buy more tools to help me later. And you can see that over here player number three got down by player number two and the player number two forced the player number three to take a card, and okay, and I'm, and something is going to happen in a second here. But right now I have six, and it's pretty good because that I'm not too worried of getting busted. But you can see right over here, player number two is up to twenty-one points, and I'm also the hunter at this round. And you notice two things. The first thing I'm going to say is that. This round will be shorter because someone is at 21 points. And when a round ends, if that player is still still has 21 points, then he wins immediately. That's why at this moment, like the hunter and other survivors will all run towards him to 
force him like give a card away or exchange his cards, anything to remove him from 21 points, which immediately happened, as you guys can see. And yeah, like since that he player number two no longer has 21 points, then it's just back to me like chasing after uh, other survivors. And you can see that here I made a mistake, like because I was not aware that uh player number two no longer has 21 points, and I was. I also forgot that you cannot use those tools as a hunter player. So, yeah, a, a pathetic waste of the card, of the card exchanger over here. And you can see that I I also failed pretty badly at trying to hunt survivors. And the round is also a, is also shorter than normal. Like a normal round is 120 seconds, but here's only 60 seconds. So I did not bother and just have the round ended because like 12. Isn't too bad for now, but if I get a 10 in this round, then I'll be busted and I'll have to exchange the cards away. But luckily, I got a 1, so so I only have 13 points and it is still a, a relatively safe range because this is only like round number 4 and I can hopefully get closer to 21 in round number 5. And okay guys, in this round, I'll also... Like, look closely and carefully at the player number 3. The player number 3 is the hunter and she downed me over here because I did not kite the geisha well. And... And she forced me to... T he or she forced me to take a card f card from him or her. And the moment I took a card and I got so lucky and I only took a 1. And player number 3 got eliminated. So what happened is that player number 3 number of cards probably exceeded 21 and then she was hoping that I would take a large number of cards so that after that her points would be lower than 21 but unfortunately I took the smallest card possible so player number 3 is still eliminated and and over here I received a 10 so now I also exceeded 21 so I have to somehow exchange cards with another player otherwise I would be eliminated the moment the round ends so I exchanged my 10 for her 3 randomly, but then she Im immediately exchanged her two, f her 7 for my 2, so it, it, I ended up having 22, which is just busted, and I'm like, oh no. And you can see the hunter also downed player number 2 and immediately exchanged card, no, forced player number 2 to take a card from her. So the round ends, and the round will always end, no, like, the game ends after 5 rounds, so I thought I'm eliminated because I exceeded 21, but I somehow won, and I was pretty confused why I won, but this explained why, because every single player was busted, and since I was the closest to 21, so I won even though I was busted, and yeah, this game pretty much shows that how easy it is to get busted, especially in round 5, because you can see everyone got busted, so this is also shows you guys how important it is for you to like remove the cards as early as possible so had I like down someone at round 3 I would probably like I probably would not be that dangerous like my win probably would not be that dangerous comparing to now so yeah this is a quick walkthrough of what the blackjack game mode is and and sorry for some bad gameplay or if this little walkthrough isn't in, doesn't give you guys much insight and if you guys want I can show you I can like play it in under a few games and show you guys more about this game mode. So this is Invisible Zhong and I'll see you in the next video. See ya!